Kia ora, I'm Jason Murray. Um, no te maitere o Matakana Hau. I live on uh, Matakana Island, born and bred here. My connection to Pane Pane goes back centuries through my ancestors who lived at this place and resided here. We live here now and we are kaitiaki of this place. This place here, this is known as uh, Pane Pane Purako block. Basically it's an old ancestral name given to this place from our tūpuna. Pane Pane is 172 hectares. It's located on the southeastern part of Matakana Island, right next to Mawau. Ko Peter Watson toko inga, uh, ko Aote Kai Fakahare Fena Rahui Western Bay Planning District Council. So, so my name's Peter Watson, and I'm the Reserves and Facilities Manager at Western Bay District Council. I've been involved in this role for, for quite a long time now, probably 15 years plus, but we've been working on this recent idea of transferring the land for probably the last five or six years at least. Western Bay Planning District Council inherited land at no cost through the 1989 local government reform process. So originally land was held by the Harbour Board and the Harbour Board was just established in 1989 when the Western Bay Planning District Council was established. Back in 2015 there was a council decision to move forward and look at transferring the land back and going through a process and I guess we're at that point now where we're going through that then undertaking the public consultation before making that final decision. The trust was set up in recognition of the return of the land and was set up under the five hapu so that the land ownership goes back to the five hapu of Matakana and Rangiwaia. If you're a surfer, you're a kayaker or a fisherman and you want to come over here and fish off the, the beach or land over here and do your water skiing, nothing's going to change after, after land's transferred. You'll still be able to come over here. There's an esplanade strip that runs around the outer area of the ocean side and around in, in the harbour. So nothing really changes in that space. In the past 10 years, we've had a really good relationship with the council. With many negotiations like this, you need to have strong partnerships to achieve a common goal. One of the other benefits too of having council involved with the ongoing you know, joint management is that we can bring our bylaws into play too, so we can manage any of the kind of antisocial things we may not want to have happen over here, like lighting of fires or firearms and freedom camping, etc. As Tangata Whenua, we have a inherent kaitiaki tanga role to look after this place, um, which means we um, respect all the things to do with the, the moana, the forestry space. We don't litter everywhere, we don't burn fires, we don't destroy the ngahere or the trees. And so as tangata whenua, we would appreciate that the public takes that on board as well.